On today's video, we're going thrift shopping for designer home decor, and it's all gonna be done in a very small budget. Keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Ramon. Welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm so excited you're here today because we're going thrift store shopping on a small budget for home decor. I'm gonna take you to various Goodwill stores and other local thrift stores here in San Diego and we're gonna buy so many beautiful items and I'm gonna show you everything that I got on a very special thrifting haul. So if you are interested in shopping for home decor on a budget, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like the videos and share with your friends. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for future decorating and DIY ideas. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram for daily Insta stories. All right, you guys, to get this video started, first, we must go shopping. Let's go. All right, everyone, it is 8.30 in the morning and I'm heading out to one of my favorite thrift stores here in sunny San Diego. I'm gonna show you the things that I like to buy. Uh, I'm looking for some items for this uh, home makeover that we're doing. So we're gonna go to various thrift stores that uh, not only the Goodwill stores, but also like some local thrift stores because sometimes there's more treasures in local thrift stores because they are by donation. So I always recommend to hit as many as you can. So it's early in the morning. We're gonna head to the first one and I'll show you around, stick around. You know, a lot of people ask, what is budget decorating? And I'm telling you, to, at least to me, what budget decorating means is finding the things that we really want at a lower price, at a discount price, or at a thrift store, but only the things that we really need. Because if we just start buying things because the price is right, we'll end up with a whole bunch of things that we don't need. So we're gonna, th we're gonna look for only things that we need. So let's go shopping. If you've been following my channel for a long time, then you know that I love me a really good thrift find garage sale consignment store because I love buying expensive decor on a small budget. And today I'm gonna give you five tips that I always use when I go thrifting. And the very first time is whenever you go to a thrift store, you have to be willing to stay a while. If you guys know when you're out thrifting, they're putting out stuff all day long and it is really good idea to just stick around look around while they bring stuff out and my local goodwill store they even yell new merchandise out so you run to those bins because that's where the good stuff is coming in all day long so be willing to stay a while and be willing to browse for a while all right you guys we've arrived to our first destination and that is the veterans thrift store this is also a really good way to support some really good causes like we're gonna see Right now, this is for the veterans. All proceeds go to help veterans in the area. And then after that, we're gonna go to another one that is a cerebral palsy thrift store. So let's go inside and see what this one has to offer. Let's go. Well, you know, I'm always on the hunt for containers and I really like this one right here. I love this shape, it's $3.95, a little out of my price range on the budget, but I really like this shape, so I'm gonna continue looking. Right out of the bat, how cute are these tall lanterns, you guys? They are about 14 inches tall, and I don't see a price tag, so I'm gonna have to ask someone what the price on these are, but aren't these adorable? But this is another one I love, it is a ball. I I think I'm gonna take this one to put my keys when you first walk into the house. Put on my nightstand. It's coming home. You know, one thing that I'm always in the hunt for is some silver and silver plate. And this place has some really cool pieces. They have this whole set for $12.95. Now it does need to be washed and polished, but I love all the details on it. This is a big potential one. I always also like little uh, silver trays like this to put perhaps your um, dish soap and detergent in your kitchen. This is a really good one. Four ninety five, and it's a lot of elbow grease, but there's quite a few. I also like this one right here. Also needs to be polished. This could be used as a charger. We just have to uh, think outside of our minds. I think on this one, I think I'm gonna take. Look at all of these tall containers right here. These are perfect for a wedding to make centerpieces on top. You fill this with water and then you put your centerpiece on the top. Too bad I don't have space for them or I would take them all. 
Look at all the dishes here. I'm so excited. This is like a tablescaper's dream. I always like these ones right here with the gold rim. I used to have a set, but I got rid of it and they have a set right here. So I think I might have to take this one with me as well. How cute are these candle holders? They are basically brand new. The big one is A95 and there's two big ones and the medium size like this. Doesn't have a price, but they are perfect for a mental and the price is really nice. Right. All right, so they also have a great selection of baskets and I really love how long one this is. The only thing I don't like about this store is that finding the prices is really hard. Like this one is not priced, but their selection is great. They have this cute little cornucopias for $150 and I think this will be so cute on a wreath for fall. So I think we're gonna take them both. All right, so I'm done shopping at place number one. I got some silver I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit and I'm so excited. It is pretty tarnished, but we're gonna work some magic on it. So stay tuned. Let's head over to thrift store number those. All right, you guys. So tip number two when you're out thrifting is go during the same day at different times of the day. If you have a day off, like I mentioned before, just go out shopping in the morning while you're running errands and then go again in the evening because they're putting new stuff out all day long. So you don't wanna miss out on any good things that they might be putting out in the morning or in the evening. So be willing to go different times of the day on the same day and I guarantee you, you will find some treasure. All right, you guys, so we have arrived to our second thrift store for the day. It is around 10 o'clock in the morning and we're gonna go inside of Goodwill number one to see what they have. Let's go. Well, you know, I don't need another lamp, but look how cute this one is. It's only $9.99, and I love the shape of it. Not so much the shade, but the shape is really good, and it's a really good price. You know, so many of you asked me about these champagne flutes that I uh, put on my mom's house this Christmas holiday uh, season, and they are two for $3.99, and this is how I get them. I just keep them shopping for them until I find more of the same ones. And I have a collection of eight, so it's a good way to form a collection if you're looking for a crystal. I really always wanted one of these for coffee, and here's one for $5.99. I don't know if it comes in pieces. Oh, yep, it is. Let me see if we can take this home. Once again, there's a really good selection of artwork. I'm gonna page through them and see if there's something we can take home. I'm looking for smaller pieces, kind of like this, but with uh, decorative motifs like uh, facades of buildings and architecture. This frame is pretty though. It is a little tarnished, but it is perfect to serve coffee in the morning. And for $5.99, I think it's a winner, baby. I also like this container right here, this square. It's only $4.99. So it re usually retails for $33. So this is a really good option right here. We can put our spoons and things. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take this home with me. Okay, these ones I am obsessed about, these four uh, wine glasses. I love the color. There's three or four for $3.99. So I think also these are gonna come home with us. Phrase right here, they're shaped the same. There's three of them right here. This would be perfect for serving at a party. So cute. Once again, they have all this sterling silver right here. That is perfect for chargers. I'm gonna go through and see if I can find something I like. Okay, you guys, I'm really crushing over this picture. It has a sterling silver rim on the mouth and a handle. It is a little out of my price range because it is $15, but it's so pretty and I can just imagine it being all polished. Oh, I think it's coming home. All right, well, that was a very successful Goodwill run. I cannot wait to show you guys, but right now I'm gonna head over to the third thrift store. It is around 11 o'clock in the morning. And then I'm gonna stop for some lunch because I'm getting hungry, but I'm super excited about this other thrift store because they usually have some really good things, so let's go.
My tip number three for thrift store shopping successfully is be willing to stay a while. If it is your day off and like I do, just stick around and shop different times of the day, why not just browse a while? Because they're putting stuff out all day long. And I love it when I'm at my local Goodwill store and the clerk yells, new merchandise, and I just run to those vents and scatter through them because that's where the good stuff really is. You don't wait till they put it on the shelf because once they put it on the shelf, people will go through the shelves, you will miss out. So not only uh, visit multiple stores in a day, but then also go during different times of the day, but be willing to stay a while and I guarantee you, you will find some treasure. All right, you guys, so my tip number four is be willing to pay the price. What I mean by that is sometimes you find really attractive items, like some of the ones that I'm gonna show you in a little bit, they were actually a little bit out of my price range, but I know they're worth the money. A lot of people actually buy these items to resell on eBay and then other applications and even Facebook Marketplace. So be willing to pay the price if you really want the item and if it's something that you really need. So not only go during different times of the day and also be willing to stay a while, but be willing to pay the price. And I guarantee you once again, you will find some really attractive items for a fraction of the cost. All right, so tip number five, and it's probably the most important tip I can give you while out thrift shopping is have a clear vision of the things that you're looking for. What I mean by this is I'm right now working in some projects here around the house. I'm working in the living room and a closet, and I know the things that I need. So when I'm out shopping, I'm always looking for things to complete those projects. If you just go out shopping with a lot of money, you're gonna end up with a whole bunch of things that you don't need, and trust me, I'm so guilty for it. However, if you have a clear vision of the things that you need and the things that you want for these particular makeovers, you will instantly subconsciously start looking for those things and I promise you, you will find them at a fraction of the cost of what somebody already paid for them and drop them off a Goodwill. Remember what they say, somebody else's trash, someone else's treasure and oh, I love it when it is my treasure. All right, you guys, so I have arrived to my third location and this is another local thrift store. It's called Father Joe's here in San Diego. So we're gonna go inside and see if we can find some treasures. Let's go. I love how this place always has a brand new furniture. This credenza right here is only $79. I don't need one, but it's brand new, so whoever takes it home is gonna get a really good deal. Good are these for soup. They're from Crate and Barrel, and they're only $1.99. I think they'll be perfect to serve soup, but I also love these ones right here. And they have two, four, six, nine of them. These ones are only $1.99, so I think I'm gonna have to take at least four to six of these. Aren't they cute? All right, when out shopping, make sure that your store doesn't have any other sales. Like sometimes they have senior sales or military discounts. At this store, they change the sale tag every week and this week is blue tax 50% now. So always, always keep that in mind. So I am leaving our last Goodwill store. I'm gonna go home and show you all the things that we bought. So I'm so excited. So now that we're back from our shopping trip, I wanna take you to the studio and show you the things that I bought and I think you're gonna love them. So stay tuned. All right, everyone. So I'm gonna show you all of the things that I purchased this time around when I was out thrifting. But before I do that, I wanna mention that if you have not seen my last Goodwill haul, I'm gonna link it up right now because I talked to you about the five things that I'm always looking for when I'm out thrifting. But on this video, I'm gonna talk about five more. And these are the things that really make me happy and I'm always looking for. And one of them is dishes. If you guys been following for a while, you know that I am an avid tablescaper. I love to set up a beautiful table and to be able to achieve that and to change it up all the time, well, you have to have a stack of dishes that will build those tablescapes. And this time around, I got really lucky because I have a set of six uh, salad, dinner, and dessert plates with a beautiful gold rim. And I cannot wait to use this and show you guys the next tablescape. And all of these dishes were under $10 for the whole set. I got really lucky. And then also I found a set of these four beautiful blue 
um, stemware that I absolutely die for their authentic crystal and they are so pretty on this blue uh, color and I cannot wait to use it with some blue and white. Oh, it's gonna be just absolutely gorgeous. So when you're out shopping, keep an eye for stemware and dishes that are very affordable so that you can change your tablescapes and impress your guests. Let me get ready for item number two and I really think you're gonna enjoy it. All right, so my second item that I'm always looking for is this white pottery and containers. I talked to you guys about containers on my last video, but this time around, I'm trying to keep it as clean possible. And I'm always looking for beautiful white ceramic containers. So the arrangements that we put together look very clean and crisp, whether they're square and tall or just a really beautiful white pitcher or a smaller container in white. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make some statement in your home. So you just basically drop a beautiful bouquet of flowers like this one, and you can just put it together in groups like this. And it really does make a statement as you guys can see, because the container is very simple. And this actually were only $2.99 a piece, so not a bad deal. All right, so I know that we already talked about our work in our last video. However, I wanna mention it again because I found these two beautiful pieces. And as you guys can see, the frames are different sizes, but I'm trying to do a gallery wall for a makeover in our living room. And I just love the juxtaposition of the frames and the colors in them. This guy was $2.99 to where this one was $4.99. As you guys can see, the price difference is big, but I think they really complement each other and they're going to look beautiful on my wall and I cannot wait to show you guys, so stay tuned for that. All right, so, so many of you already know that when I'm out thrifting, I'm always looking out for flowers. And you guys, I bought this bundle of one, two, three bundles of white flowers. I found these two full, these are absolutely gorgeous. And this guy right here, this hydrangea, it looks like you've seen better days, but this is going to be a really good filler on a, a full wreath. So this whole bundle of flowers was $7.99. Just this right here, a Hobby Lobby would cost you over $15. So you get all of these flowers for $7.99 and they're really, really good quality. Some mom, some accent flowers, some hydrangea, and some beautiful magnolia. And we're gonna be using a lot of this magnolia on my mom's Christmas decor this year, but more about that in the near future, but I can you believe this is only under $8? What a deal. Okay, so this is my number one thing that I'm always looking for, and there's many reasons why. The reason number one is because I think everything looks more elegant in silver, whether it's silver plate or just pewter. I love the way this guy looks. I found this beautiful picture i gave it a really good polish and look how gorgeous this is it's gonna look so pretty with lemonade or cucumber water when i'm out serving my guest oh, i absolutely love it but a lot of people ask me how do you take care of your silver well let me show you how all right so you guys always ask me what do i use to clean my sterling silver and my brass around the house well there's two products that i live by and one of them is going to be this right silver Cleaner. You can find it here at Home Depot. And for my brass, I use this brass, so, and I swear by it, they will get the job done. Okay, so I just wanna show you a few of the items that I got at Goodwill and how tarnished they are. They're super dusty and dirty. As you guys can see, this picture right here is super tarnished. But we're gonna give it a really quick um, polish and I'm gonna show you guys what a difference a little elbow grease makes. Stay tuned. I just wanna mention real quick, this guy right here, uh, you can take it apart. As you guys can see, there's a screws right here. I have my screwdriver with me and I'm gonna take it apart, give it a quick, quick wash and polish. And then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm generously applying some of this uh, silver polish that I found at um, Home Depot. And I just like to rub it on and then I just let them sit for a minute. So it really grabs on to uh, the the silver plate, and I'm gonna do the same with the lid. So basically just rub as much as you can, very generously. Okay, so once your silver is polished, I wanna show you guys how I actually store it. Like this guy right here, this is just one of your grocery bags. And then I try to wrap the silver plate on tissue paper. I'm always looking for tissue paper at the dollar store to have it handy. And then I wrap the silver part so that way it doesn't tarnish as quick. Look how gorgeous this guy looks. And these two are going to look perfect together 
with cucumber water and ice water on a beautiful silver plate when you're out entertaining absolutely gorgeous now i do want to show you another thing right here and this is how to put a quick beautiful floral arrangement together on a silver cup all right i'm gonna start with a small arrangement on this really pretty mint julep cup that cost me only 199 so i stuck a really small piece of foam in there then i cut a whole bunch of ostromeria and you just have to go around the perimeter and what i like to do is just go opposites like this and then i'm gonna alternate corners like this that way you cover all the perimeter of your container that's the first thing you have to do when you're doing a small bouquet or posy bouquet like this cover the perimeter of your container and look how pretty and elegant this looks this will look so pretty on a desk perhaps even on the back of a toilet in a bathroom or by the sink so it is just super easy under five dollars you can have a beautiful beautiful small bouquet for any room in your house and you know what i hate to say this but this really upscales that mason jar look that we're all so tired of look how elegant this looks absolutely gorgeous and then for this bigger one that i found for 5.99 i found this orchid at ikea and it's under nine dollars so basically i just put a small piece of foam in there and then i drop my orchid just like that this can also be in the back of a toilet, by your sink, on a desk, a nightstand, or just a little entry table, but look how elegant they look. Now I've had these for a while and I absolutely love them. As you guys can see, if you do a collection of them like this, this could be a beautiful tablescape for spring or for summer. And actually I'm gonna be showing you that for a while. This is absolutely gorgeous and this could be so pretty on somebody's desk in the office. Uh, this one right here could be on somebody's nightstand if you have a grandma or a mother in one of those nursing facilities This is something really pretty that replaces something fresh or the orchid as well because they don't have to take care of it And they look absolutely elegant So this is a really good alternative for that mason jar and it really upscales the look so always look for some silver all right, you guys, well, that's all I have for today, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun taking you out thrift shopping, and if you wanna see more thrifting videos, leave me the hashtag thrifting so I know that you are interested in this subject. I cannot wait to read your comments, so leave me a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite thrift store to shop at and what is your favorite item that you have ever purchased at a local thrift store thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing if you already subscribed don't forget to turn the notification bell on and you can subscribe today i'm going to link up my last haul right now or you can watch more videos thank you and until next time bye